temperature. So that can reduce your heating bill by up to 10%. And if all that just doesn't seem to be helping you, here's an idea. A small Mexican restaurant in Colorado Springs is packing some heat, so to say. They're bottling their famous salsa and bringing it to a grocery store near you. News First 5's John Romero has more in one of your stories. The American dream is still alive and well, and, and Santa Scoy Food Group is proof of that. Opened in 2001, the Cafe El Paso has struck a nerve in Colorado Springs. El Paso, Texas native Sandra Shearer and her husband Paul opened the restaurant to bring a little Texas home cooking to southern Colorado. I wanted to bring some of the flavors from my family and from my heritage. And with the plates of beans, rice and tortillas, a salsa with a story past. It actually originates from my family, from the Santa Scoy family. And, um, it's been around for hundreds of years. The salsa that her family had was absolutely amazing. And when we, when we opened the restaurant, we made the decision to recreate that salsa in the restaurant. Almost instantaneously, the salsa, known as Dos Pistolas, caught on with locals. The shears began bottling small batches, but demand was high. They started asking me for it more and more, and I was producing it here at the restaurant, but then it became too much for me. Dos Pistolas has now become its own company and can now be found in large chains such as Albertsons and Whole Foods. With the growth of the salsa also comes a growth in business. Santa Scoy Food Group and Dos Pistolas are based in Colorado Springs and getting bigger. We're also looking at creating jobs and opportunities over the next four to six weeks, we're going to be hiring uh, everyone from sales staff to demo staff to administration staff. A booming business nestled in some very down-home beliefs. Food and family are, are the crux of it. And it's the love of family, food, and God, of course. Reporting in Colorado Springs, John Romero, News First 5. We heard about this story from a news tip. If you have a story idea you'd like to share with us, you can email us or you can find us on Twitter and Facebook. All you have to do is search News First 5. 640 right now as we move along. When we return on this Wednesday, we'll have some of the day's top national stories. And we want to say a big thank you to everyone who's up early.